Um, Joe, I could not be more excited about where we are this year. Let's get through a couple of housekeeping things, and then we have some special guests before we get into the meat of the business. Everyone receive copies of the bylaws and the agenda. I'd ask unanimous consent to adopt the agenda and to appoint Phil Laporte as the parliamentarian. So moved. Is there a second? All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay. We all, um, I don't think I've really got to recap this primary other than to say we've just got one of the best slave Democrats at the top of our ticket for our statewide that we've had in two decades. I tell you how everywhere we go you can feel in the streets and the excitement about this year's opportunities that will be there if we get it there. Now it's up to us to get the vote turned out for these people who put themselves out there. To support them, raise the money, get in our communities. Uh, this is it, y'all. This is the year. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for believing. And um, I can't wait for Kim to get here to give you the treasure. Y'all, we're stronger than we've been in decades. And I want to thank all of you for helping get it to this point. Um, we had a wonderful state dinner. Doug Jones brought the house down. Woo! Yeah. 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 We filled the room up. We could not fit another chair in the room. We filled it up. The people, the people are ready. They're ready. The entire nation is looking to Georgia. So let's show them what we can do. Um, I want y'all, we have a few new people. Of course, here, Rebecca DeHart, as y'all know, had her baby. Another boy. Let's put her here and all the way in that line. You know, I try not to bother because I feel that the one time I'm going to call is the time she just got dressed and Right up here, it's about 10.30. I thought, you know, 10.30, you may be, maybe okay. And I called, and I could tell I woke her up. And uh, she was said to tell everybody, hey, sorry, she's here, but she's got uh, something to take care of right now, but she'll be back soon. But uh, we're excited for her. But I tell you, uh, where's Christian? Christian. Christian is right here. Hi, Christian, for the work she has done in our history. Renee Smith, right there in the corner. Renee, I'm so excited for finance and operation. I can't, like I said, I can't wait, Kip, to get here to give the treasure report. Thank you, Renee, for all that you're doing and keeping the all the things running. Um, you know, one of the most exciting things is we're the only party in the country to have our own in-house voter protection lawyer. Sarah Gazelle, where are you? Sarah, I was talking about you. Thank you for the hard work you're doing. Um, you know, um, one other addition that, that's something we just needed to do. We'll talk about teaching old dogs new tricks. You know, we have a digital director that is one of the most phenomenal, talented people I've ever seen. Bree Johnson, raise your hand back there. Bree is a offering cyber space for us out there. You know, Michael, when he moved on, everybody said, what are we going to do? And, of course, we were so fortunate that Eric Gray was available. Eric, raise your hand. We've got Eric back as our communication director. <laughs> have have y'all been watching the Republican gubernatorial debates? <laughs> Wasn't this last one wonderful? When they got to each, ask each other the question is, no, you're the liar. No, you're the liar. No, you're the liar. <laughs> and uh, what, if you're, you know, Eric was firing out comments every uh, five minutes on every issue. But uh, Eric, thank you for what you're doing. It's just phenomenal. Now, y'all, we have already started our coordinated field staff. Now, of course, we started it earlier than we ever had. I can't tell you how, I want you just to see the faces, a lot of the people you know, but I want you to put the face with the names. 
Where's Justin Pitts? Christian, tell Justin to stick his head at the door. I want you to put a face to the name when you call the office and go back. Well, they're actually... Is Justin there? Yes, he is. Put his head in the door and everybody see him. Deputy Field Director Justin Pitts. Justin, raise your hand. Patricia Lassiter. Bring her in. Thank you. You know, we're just so fortunate that we're. this is the start of it. And this is what we're building out. Y'all, we're going to have the most aggressive field program we have ever had. That was the secret to winning. Uh, and have the turnout that we had with both of our candidates in the primary. You know, for years we've been, what, a couple hundred thousand folks short of what Republican ballots have been in the primary. Y'all, we were in within 50,000 votes in our program. This is where we are. We have closed that gap, and now it's all about turning our people out. That is our opportunity. That's how we're going to elect people that you're about to hear from. Um, now, before we get to that, I do want to mention uh, a couple of things that we just need to remember. We lost a couple of people who have been such a part of the old party for years, but also the rebuilding our party. Um, as y'all know, Beth Perrokey, and she had a wonderful memorial service. Dr. Perrokey is here. Um, Dr. Perrokey here. Um, we thank you. Um, that smile of, smell to show us the smile of Beth Perrokey. When you can talk about it, she look at you. Can't hear you in the back. Can we have that opportunity? This isn't okay. This. How close we are in the country of passing the Equal Rights Amendment. And the project that she did on the Georgia Women's Project. But I want to take a moment of silence for her, for Rita Samuels as well. And uh, federally, I can't stand here without thinking about it. Thank you for his wonderful life and dedication to me. Y'all, let's just take a moment of silence and lift these people up, okay? Thank you. Uh, Mike Jablonski is going to go through the details of the bylaws, which is the big, uh, the meat of uh, this meeting. But uh, before we get to that, I found that Stephanie Woods Miller, if you got her email, her hard drive went down on the computer where the minutes were from the last meeting. So we're going to have to adopt those later. But I do need to check before we get any further. How we went, they asked Christian how we're on a quarrel. I think we're at 118. There you are. Present is 118. The required two thirds, which is 106 votes. So we have to <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Oh. For a bylaws quorum, we need 160. So, let's see if we can drag in. Alright. Y'all can text or call anybody, we're mighty short on the bylaws quorum. All right. Well, let's see who, as people come in, let us know. All right. Y'all, I want you to meet, uh, if you haven't met them already, um, this will inspire you as much as anything as Democrats in this state, is to hear from some of our state. To start off with 